What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl VGC video. If it's Christmas for you, you know, if you're celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas. Whatever you're celebrating around this time of year, I wish you the best of times. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, but today, I uh, hold on, I think that's how you spell cliche. Today we are going to be using a Deli Bird team because that's what you do on this day, supposedly. Uh, but yeah. If you guys enjoy this standpoint point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm honestly like, this is just like, I don't know what else to do on this day, so I might as well just record a showdown live with this really bad team. I do not recommend you guys use this team for anything other than fun, but if you want it, I guess it's going to be in my Discord, so link down below for that. Uh, what we're using is a choice band, Hustle Deli Bird. And Hustle is an ability that increases your attack stat by 50% while lowering your accuracy to 80% on any of your physical moves. So we're running Ice Shard, Drill Peck, Ice Punch, and Present, because why not? Uh, with a Brave Nature, Zero Speed, and Max Attack, Max HP, next to a Leftovers, Frisk, Gravity, and Trick Room, Dusk Noir. It's got will o and Nightshade, we're just running Physical Defense. I didn't put too much thought into this team, but I did put a couple of memes. Uh, we have a Stantler with... Uh, Focus Sash, Intimidate, Jolly, Max Speed, Max Attack, 4 HP, Entrainment to Entrain, Intimidate onto opposing Pokemon, thus giving our Empoleon a attack boost from that. Uh, we also have Double Edge for general stab reasons. I know that, hey, it's like, why are you running a Focus Sash with Double Edge? Because I'm probably not ever going to click Double Edge. I just need something to hit something. Um, and we also have Trick Room on here because Focus Sash Trick Room is actually pretty reliable for possibly getting Deli Bird in on the field or Obama Snow or Glaceon. We have our Obama Snow with Light Clay, Snow Warning, Max HP, Max Special Attack, Zero Speed. We have a Life Orb Glaceon with Blizzard, Shadow Ball, Protect, Yawn. And we have our Shookaberry Defiant Empoleon. This is the only set that has any merit to it. It actually works in general VGC because I used it on a previous team. Beyond that, this team's garbage. Let's get into it. I'm on low ladder because we made a fresh account. It is Rum Chata Day. Let me actually get an appropriate picture for Rum Chata Day. Um... I, I don't know. Is there any, like, christmas theme looking dudes? Here. Uh, you like the cold. There we go. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't expect to get many wins today, but if we get even one, I'll be happy. As... Hello? We already know what's going on here. <laughs> Hello, Stantler plus Milotic. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with the boys. I'm gonna go Dust Noir and... I'm gonna go Empoleon, because screw this guy. He's not gonna he's not gonna get me with that. He's not getting me with that. Uh, and I think in the back here I can pretty easily bring a bomb of snow in. Guys, I know Deli Bird doesn't do anything in this match. We're bringing it anyways. I have to every game. That's like the one thing. That's like one one thing that we just can't avoid. We bring Deli Bird, okay? You might be wondering, how is how is Dust Noir Christmas related? How is how is Dust Noir holiday season related? I don't know. I don't enjoy the season anymore. It's the death of my enjoyment. <laughs> okay. As they end up leading off with uh, Entei Toicus. Uh, honestly, fine by me. Probably not. I'm going to go for the Trick Room. He's probably going to burn me. I can't do much about it. I don't want to hard switch into Deli Bird. Uh, so I suppose here I'm going to want to deal with you as soon as possible. And I'm going to try to Waterfall it. As we actually see his Choice Scarf, it's likely just going to... Yep. That's fine by me. Uh, Air Slash. Let's see if he gets the flinch. He does, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, I get this KO next turn anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack my Obama Snow because I, you know, you catch me dead before I sack this Deli Bird, you know? I could have gone for Trick Room that turn. Interesting. Uh, I still KO this Entei. I mean, probably not. <laughs> next turn, I'm going to go for Ice Shard and just hope for the best. As I actually get flinched. A little bit annoying there. Alright, check this out. I bet you, this Ice Shard, Hustle Choice Banded, is enough to KO the Entei. I bet you it is. It's not, but I'm going to hope it is. Check this out. Check this out. Boom! It's not enough. Alright, good game, bro. Good game. Happy holidays. <laughs> Yeah, that's, this is pretty much what the rest of the life's going to be like. I'm just doing my best to get even one, like, good Deli Bird game. See standard-ish looking team, except with a Chatot. Kind of interesting, kind of interesting. 
I should be able to trick room on this pretty easily. And I think I can afford to... I think I go Stantler, actually. Stantler lead isn't that bad. Um, allows me to intimidate, makes my job a little bit easier. I actually do... Empoleon's actually pretty good here, so I'm going to do this. No, I, I don't bring Stantler to this game. There's no chance I bring Stantler. I go... Um, I go Dust Noir. I go Empoleon. I go Obama Snow. I go Deli Bird. Because Deli Bird's 100% necessary. Trust me. But yeah, uh, I mean, it's likely they're just going to try to set up a Belly Drum on me, like, immediately. And I guess Empoleon actually helps out in that sense, because it is physically defensive. Like, really physically defensive. And we times four... Not times four, but we times four resist the water moves, and we um, just regular resist the non-water moves. So what I'm going to do here is... Um... This is kind of a free trick room, isn't it? I'm going to go hard into Obama Snow and Trick Room. Is the EQ? That's fine. Probably going to Boom Burst. I can definitely eat it with my Obama Snow. Because they taunt. I didn't know you got that move. You learn something new every day, though, I suppose. Let's go to Deli Bird, and I'm going to... Uh, I guess I can Aurora Veil, actually. No, I get so much more out of Blizzard. Because they can go into their uh, Tyranitar and mess me up. They go Snorlax. They don't swap the chat out. Oh, they do. Okay. So they go T-Tar. Okay. Okay. Uh, I should just be able to do a double here. Likely just going to Rock Slide. Definitely can't afford to stay in with this Deli Bird right now. Okay. Uh, it's at this point, it's in my best interest just to say that Trick Room is never going up, and I'm going to attempt to KO this Tyranitar with Waterfall plus, uh, <laughs> Waterfall plus this, um, Nightshade. If I can dodge a Rock Slide, I'll definitely get it off, but it's more more than likely they're just going to go ahead and Crunch or Taunt me or whatever. Probably Crunch, considering they got a Life Orb. Maybe even Assurance, actually. So they protect. I uh, don't know if I agree with that play. Uh, but I suppose it worked out. Alright, uh, it's at this point I can go for the Veil and hope for the best. Because I'm going to outspeed that T-Tar. Um, or not the T-Tar, I'm going to outspeed the Snorlax. And they can't prevent the Veil at all. Really, I just want to get like one gravity set up and then like actually Deli Bird goes to town. Get my Veil up to Snorlax as Rock Slide. Interesting. Um, I can just Waterfall here. Actually, I'll Steel Wing. I know it's like less accurate, but I'm going to Steel Wing for the chance to boost my defense. <laughs> it's really dumb. All right, let's see if I get it. Defense boost? Defense boost? Yes! Yes! Watch that actually make a difference. World's weakest high horsepower. I bet you I take the Earthquake now. I definitely don't, but bet you I do. All right, there's the chomp. Check this out. Uh, I'm gonna Blizzard, and I mean Blizzard should just KO the chomp here. They're Bright Powder. It's a little bit annoying. I guess they just Waterfall Blizzard. Rock Slide doesn't KO. I connect on the chomp. That's great. Waterfall flinch. I swear, if I win this match somehow. Wait, actually, I have a chance to win. I have to connect my uh, my Ice Punch, but I have a chance to win. Or maybe I get rid of Chat Out first. I think I get rid of Chat Out first, because Chat Out actually poses a threat here. And I just Blizzard. If I connect this Ice Shard, oh, it's over. It's over, unless he Rock Slide crit me. I think he Rock Slide crit me. I guess he doesn't even need to crit me. Yeah, good game. <laughs> I actually forgot it had Rock Slide. I'm so used to seeing Snorlax just being like Belly Drum. I, we're just going to end the video as soon as I get one win with Deli Bird. I'm just going to call it using Deli Bird until I win. Um, I could see Gravity Trick Room going very well here if it works. It's probably not though. They got a Heatran. 
Ooh, you know what actually might be fun here? We're going to do this. And of course I bring the boy. I wonder how long it's going to be till I get a win with this thing. I mean, I doubt it's going to be this game, but we still got to do our best, you know? They're definitely thinking, they're like, man, what is this? Is this a, is this a holiday themed team? H how do I beat that? Are they going to set up a trick room on me? Oh, I better stop the trick room, dude. Better lead off with this, with this Weavile. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I do get my thingy, which is really fun. I get an Icy Wind here, and that actually makes this a lot easier. I'm going to go for the Entrainment on you. And I'm going to Icy Wind on you, because you should be faking out the Stantler. Mm, that's fine. Ooh, you're very scared. You are very scared. I probably don't live that to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to try to trick room here, and I'm going to go for the Icy Wind. I know it doesn't make sense, but I kind of have to. Throat Chop, interesting. Okay, check this out. Check out this god play. Now that I'm slower than the Garchomp, I can double edge an Icy Wind, and I bet you it KOs. It probably doesn't, to be honest. I'm going to go with my Deli Bird for that reason. <laughs> and I suppose I can just Waterfall. doesn't really make a difference. Because Icy Wind is never KOing this thing, and I don't want it to be slower. Tangrowth? That's fine. It's going to Rage Powder. See if I care. Good damage. Flinch? Earthquake? That's fine. I'm going to eat that up. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? Disgustingly strong Pokemon. Overpowered, in fact. Let me go for this uh, Ice Punch into you. And if I connect this Ice Punch, my Icy Wind actually should KO the Garchomp from single target. Am I slower, though? No. Uh, I'm actually faster with that thing. So I kind of have to... Uh, man. I'll just go for it. Yeah, I'm locked. Let's just go for it. If this is the win I get, I'd be so freaking... <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so freaking dumb. I mean, I might KO this Tangrowth. I doubt it. But if I do, that'd be insane. Eh, it's a pretty high tech stat. There's the Rage Powder. Get my KO on the Garchomp. Come on, Delibird, get a KO. Get him. Get him, Delibird. There we go. There we go. And something on the field's getting ice punched. Probably not. Yeah, it's Heatran. Probably not. <laughs> uh, I could win if I eliminate this Weavile. So I'm going to ice punch it. And I'm going to go into my Stantler here. Because I might be able to Trick Room next turn. Yeah, that was that was respectable damage. There's the sub. Um, Yeah, so here's what I do. I Ice Punch this, this Weavile again. And I attempt to Trick Room. Likely failing because of a Heat Wave. Throat Chop. Heat wave. Hey, get it off, though. Actually, wait. No, I win. No, I definitely win. Here's why. Protect this turn on the Protect from the Weavile. And if it doesn't protect, it's whatever. Go for my Double Edge. And then I should... I mean, they have Leftovers. Actually, I might lose. It depends um, if I keep my Empoleon long enough. Okay, I call the Protect. Nice, nice. So here, what I do is I go Dusk Noir. And I'm going to... Uh, Yeah, I can't really afford to go Dusk Noir yet. I need to like get Empoleon in under Trick Room to Waterfall this thing while it doesn't have a sub. And that's like the only way I win. So I'm going to go Dust Noir here, and I'm going to try to break this. Probably going to fail, mind you. I 
I KO myself. Now on this turn, I Trick Room, right? But I also attack, assuming that he is going to think that I don't Trick Room. Oh, he just lets me. He just let me, and now I lose. <laughs> now I lose because he just kind of let me. I didn't expect him to just let me do that. Actually, I, I got a chance. I'm probably not going to win, but I got a chance. Depends how much this... If he can miss two heat waves, that'd be great. He does not. Okay, let's try again. Alright, this is winnable. I guarantee you this is winnable. Uh, we're going to do the same thing, pretty much. Stantler and Polion. We're going to bring Dust Noir, and I have to bring Delibird. Okay, cool. We got our first attack boost. It's on this turn that I have to Trick Room, because I should be faking out my Empoleon. If they don't fake out Empoleon, I'll be really upset. Okay, got him. Okay, got him. All right. So now, I don't think my drill pet KOs him. I'm going to get rid of my... This is kind of a controversial play, right? Oh, that doesn't really count. <laughs> I mean, it's technically a win, but it doesn't really count. I'm trying to win a game, you know? All right. Oh, this is a double intimidate. Okay. All right. We do the same thing. Like the exact same thing, right? We have to bring Delibird. Bird. This guy's like, I am not about to be in your YouTube video, bro. The previous guy, he just forfeited. He's like, uh, no, no, I'm not about to be put into a YouTube video. I mean, this guy's taking a minute. He's like, man, what do I do versus this team? Do I stop the Trick Room? Do I lead off with Titar? Do I bring an Intimidator? You should bring an Intimidator and lead. Please let it be Arcanine, in fact. I'd love if you would lead Arcanine here. He's thinking. Come on. Come on, do your best. It's literally a Deli Bird team. Just bring Tyranitar. Like, Tyranitar always shows up to this match. Just bring it. No, nah, not quite. All right. Okay, uh, check this out. I'm taking away your Technician. And I'm going to go hard into Dust Noir. That did a lot. Titar? Okay. Okay. Alright. All your moves suck, by the way. So I should be fine to do this. I'm going to entrain my own Dust Noir, since it should be the fastest thing in the field, and I'm going to Trick Room. Crunch? I live that. X Scissor? Okay, good. Good, this is progress. We're finally doing the funny. Ladies and gentlemen, we're finally doing the funny. Actually, can I gravity yet? I think I go in Polion and then on this turn I gravity. Yeah, and I'm going to focus down the Scizor. Because then I'll be able to land every Ice Punch. If he doesn't Bullet Punch me and immediately kill me. But I'm very physically defensive and I think I can take a Bullet Punch from this range. 14%? I mean, it's full Fizz Def on this guy, and that was a mistake on your end, sir. Alright, not quite, not quite, but not in a bad situation either. Um, I think I always target down this guy, and kind of have to lock myself into, like, Ice Punch here. I don't want to lock myself into Drill Peck. 
I might eat this hit, but I really doubt it. Um, how much did my waterfall do? 42%. So the next one should definitely KO it. And I'm going to just Ice Punch this, this Arcanine for damage. That's fine. Did they BP? I lose my Deli Bird, but if I win this match, it still counts. So, I mean, I definitely lose to the Rotom. So I really doubt it. All right, there's the T-Tar. I mean, it Specs Rotom. I lose. I'm just going to forfeit. <laughs> I'm not going to draw that one out any longer than it needs to be. That was a Specs Rotom. Okay. Empoleon Enthusiast. And he's got two Ice Resists. But I'm pretty... I'm feeling pretty um, pretty good about this match. All right. I can lead off Stantler and... Hmm... I'm going to try something new. I'm going to go Stantler, Obama Snow. I'm going to go Deli Bird. And I am going to... I think I... I have to bring Glaceon. I haven't brought Glaceon yet. I'm pretty confident this will work. All right. The likelihood that they fake out the Stantler is kind of low in my opinion. I think they're more concerned with Obama Snow. And I'm just going to go for a Blizzard right now. Because if they taunt me, that'd be annoying. And okay. Rain Dance. Alright, at the very least, I connect on both of them. Okay. So here's my play. Here's my play, right? Um, I don't know my play. <laughs> I'm going to make a double switch. Uh, it's likely going to go for a steel move into the Stantler. And Glaceon's much more important to winning. So I'm going to do this. Or not in the Sandler. Still move into the friggin' Deli Bird slot. Okay. I should be able to click Blizzard here. And get in my Obama Snow. And probably KO the Sableye if they don't Rain Dance. Alright, yeah. KO the Sableye, so this is up forever. Scald's gonna KO me. But it's at this point I have to get in Deli Bird because they... I mean, they're Scalds, so they're probably not, you know defiant but it's still fine we're still somewhat capable of winning this um i absolutely have to connect ice punch plus giga drain though all right i absolutely have to freeze oh let's go he thought okay scald yeah that makes sense uh not unwinnable i can only say that much not unwinnable just not likely to win so, judging by the fact that the Rotom is in the back, my biggest issue here isn't the Empoleon. It hasn't gone for a single steel move yet. I think I can just click Blizzard and Double Edge. Alright, Freeze? Freeze? No? Okay, Muddy Water? Okay. Uh, probably lose. <laughs> probably definitely lose now. Unless I connect this. Accuracy Drop? Okay. Gaming, gaming, gaming. Still connect both, but I lose, so. All right, I, I gotta get a win eventually, right? This is just painful at this point. At some point, I have to win with this Deli Bird. We're so low on the ladder that it's it's struggling to find us an opponent bad enough who might lose to this. Okay. This seems doable. They have their own Obama Snow, right? But they have a pretty subpar Empoleon matchup if they don't bring Hariyama. I'm going to lead off Stantler and Polyon. And that might allow me to get rid of Guts. Mary Chrysler. Happy Honda days. Yeah, I'm going to go Stantler and Polyon. I'm going to go Dust Noir. And once again, we have to bring Obama Snow. Or not Obama Snow, Deli Bird. Yeah, I mean, if they if they fake out my Empoleon, I can actually remove Guts, and that makes this a lot easier. Matter of fact, like... <laughs> like, Stantler actually hard shuts down Hariyama to an extent. 
by getting rid of the ability and then intimidating it. All right, uh, not ideal, two electric types, obviously not great. Um, but what I can do here is, I am going to, I need to turn off getting PMs because I keep getting PMs from this guy when I'm recording and it doesn't help. All right, um, I'm gonna go for Trick Room and I'm gonna go into my Deli Bird here because I think that's like the only way I keep my Mons that matter at the very least. Okay, no, I lose this one. <laughs> Let's try again. Hold on, let me just let him know so he can like I'm recording right now. Also, how did he know this is me? How is he like? Wait, how do how do you know this is me? I'm I'm on Rumchata Day. What the hell? I I just realized that I'm I'm literally on an alt account. How does he know? All right. Um, let me go. Let me think. He doesn't have much of a way of stopping Trick Room. I think in this game I can just go Dust Noir, Obama Snow, Deli Bird, Empoleon. Let me see. Yeah, no, this is doable. Um, I always get this off, and I should always be able to Aurora Veil here, because he's probably just going to Volt Switch out of here so he doesn't get Giga Drained. If he nuzzles my Dust Noir and prevents my Trick Room that way, I'm going to be real upset. As he super fangs and misses and discharges. Okay, that's another option. Don't paralyze. Okay. 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 Let's try again. <laughs> that was about as bad as it could have gotten. That was probably about as bad as that turn could have gone. All right, another... <laughs> Another Pachirisu. Uh, okay, let's do what we did before. Uh, Stantler, Empoleon, Dust Noir, and Deli Bird. This is actually, like, impossible. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you can make Deli Bird work, but the fact that I have to bring Deli Bird to every single match is, like, the hardest part of this challenge. Okay. No, this is actually this is really good. Let me uh, entrainment you, and I'm going to go for a. I'm actually gonna waterfall. There's no way they stay in with this Gardevoir versus Steel type. Oh yo, gaming. So they stay in. Okay. Uh. Let me do this. Check out this gamer play. I'm going to go into my Deli Bird here. I'm going to survive that Moonblast. And I'm going to prevent the next turn's attack. I'm going to prevent the next turn's attack with an Ice Shard. So they don't even fake out. They're just going to KO me. And I live it somehow. How did I live that? I can't, I can't understand how I live that. But we're going to Trick Room here. <laughs> I don't know how I live that. Don't paralyze me. Not again. Not like this. Not like this. Okay. All right. Um, I hope this does enough. It definitely doesn't. I'm just going to put that out there. It definitely doesn't do enough. Flinch? Oh, gaming? Hello? Profuse amounts of gaming? Stealing should always KO this Gardevoir. I might be able to win this if I get this Will-O-Wisp. All right. Burn. Not Lumberry. KO'd. We're do I guys, we won. We won. Uh yeah, no, we definitely win. Go into my Stantler waterfall, get the damage. We did it.
Delibird might have just died that game, but we did it. We got our win. That And it took about as much time as it would have to record a regular video, so... <laughs> If you guys enjoyed, leave a like in this video. You know, happy holidays. I brought you pain and suffering with this stupid team. Uh, but if you want to use it, it's in my Discord. I don't recommend it. It's absolutely atrocious. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.